Dear students, today I will discuss about another misconception and the misconception based on the angle between two vectors. Sometimes I have seen that students are very confused about the fact that between two factors, which angle should they take? They are very confused about this fact, that which angle they have to take. So this video is dedicated to that students who are confused about how we have to take the angle between two vectors. So here I will discuss in great detail about that thing. And with the help of a very common example, that is the triangle of vector addition, I will explain you which angle should you take as an angle between two vectors. So now, to explain this, let me analysis this three figure as you send as you as you have shown in this diagram. And here, the angle between two vectors, the angle between two vectors is 60 degree. Here is 120 degree. One here is 60 degree. We can see this thing apparently. Here this angle is 60 degree. Here this angle is 120 degree and this angle is 60 degree. But it does not mean that the angle between these two factors is 60 degree, these two factors is 120 degree and these two factors is 60 degree. So now to find the accurate angle between two factors, we have to follow some rules. Only then you can find the correct angle between two factors if you know the rule. And what are the rules? The rules, the very first one is, you have to find out the point at which we want to, we want to find out the angle between two vectors. We have to first find out the, that point at which point we want to find out the angle between two vectors. Then what we have to do, we have to make sure that the two vectors at that point is in outward direction. So at that point where we want to find out the angle between two vectors there must be the two vectors in outward direction. So the first criteria is you have to see that the vectors are in outward direction or not. So the vectors should be in outward direction, outward direction from here, from that point at which we want to find out the angle between two vectors. Now, if we see this figure, you can find easily that for this point, if we want to find out the angle at, at this point between A and B, then here we can find easily that the, these two vectors A and B are outwards from this point. But here with respect to this point, this B vector is inward and this A vector is outwards. So these two vectors are not outwards at this point. And here also this B vector is inwards, but this A vector is outwards with respect to this point. So what we have to do first, we have to do this vector make outwards at that point at, at first. And for this purpose, we can use the shifting property of vector. Do you know the shifting property of vector? A vector can be shifted from one place to another place parallel without changing its direction. The vector will not change. If we don't change the direction of the vector and we can, we can shift the vector from one place to another place, we can do it easily. This is the shifting property of vector. So here there is no problem. These two vectors are outwards from this point. So we don't have to do this thing. But here, this vector B is not out, so outwards. So we can shift this vector from this point to this point. So this B vector can be drawn over here like this. Similarly, here this B vector be outwards if we extend this B vector like this in this direction. Okay. So now the scenario will be changed. Now what we have to do? Still now we cannot say this angle is 60 degree because at this point there is two possible angle. One is 60 degree and another is this angle which is 300 degree. Here also if we if we talk about this angle, this angle is 60 degree but this angle is 300 degree. Similarly here also this angle is 120 degree but this angle is 240 degree. So two possible angles are there. When the vectors are outwards in direction at that point then also we cannot take, we cannot say which one of these the angle between two vector a and b because there are two possible angle one is 60 degree one is 300 degree so what we have to take as the rule the possible smallest angle at that point so the second point is very interesting that is smallest angle smallest angle because here there is two angle one is 60 one is 300 here also one is 300 one is 60 here also one is 240 one is 120 degree so we have to as you these two things at first at that point where we want to find out the angle between two vectors the two vectors should be outward in direction and the second point is 
at that point if there is more possible angle than one then we have to of course always where two lines intersect two lines intersect at any point when that's that should the possible angles more than one but when we talk about the angle between two vector we have to see that the vectors are outwards from this point and the very second one is the smallest possible angle at that point so here the smallest possible angle is 60 degree so we have to take theta is equal to 60 degree as angle between a and b here also the vector is outwards from this point two vectors and the smallest possible angle is 60 degree so here also theta is 60 degree but here these two vectors b and a are outward, outwards in direction and on that respect here the smallest possible angle is 120 degree so we have to take here theta is equal to 120 degree so this will be the angle between two vectors now if we if we understand this thing properly that which angle should we take as an angle between two vector then we will we will apply this concept on the triangle law of vector addition we know from the triangle law of vector addition that this, if this is the vector a and this is vector b then this r vector will be the resultant of a and b and that will be r is equal to a plus b this is nothing but the triangle law of vector but the interesting point is that what should be the angle between a and b is this angle no this angle is not because we want to find the angle between two vector a and b at that point but at that point this vector a is inwards and this vector b is outwards so what we have to do first we have to first outwards make outwards this vector by using the shifting property okay now we have to search the smallest possible angle what is the smallest possible angle there are also two angles are possible one is this and another is this so this angle must be the smallest possible angle so this angle can be treated as theta there is the angle between two vectors so this is how we understand which angle should we take as angle between two vectors. Okay, thank you.